Okie dokie, it's good to know you're still here, tuned in to your station of choice, it's Planet 101.1 FM, beautiful Thursday evening, and yes, uh, concluding segment on the show is the Lifestyle Thursday segment, and this Thursday we're talking personal hygiene in terms of how ladies and gents handle their undergarments, and we're more specific with the ladies, we're talking about your bra, people call it brazier, uh, we're talking about your boxers for guys, or people who love to wear panties. Uh, tell us what's the time allotted to washing them. Uh, for some ladies, uh, they like to, you know, wear theirs for, say, a month, two, and then they do it like um, a Thanksgiving service when they finally wash it. Uh, for the guys, uh, some guys can wait, uh, and then at the end of the year, when their girlfriends give them a new Valentine present, which is usually singlets and boxes, that is when they now change it. Oh, I've had people say that the required minimum number for ladies to own bras should be 10 or say a dozen. For the guys, uh, someone said he owns 2,000 boxes, inclusive with some pants. So hit me up on the number 0902-223-1011. Let me know who's more guilty of violating the personal hygiene rules between guys and uh, ladies. In terms of uh, how they manage their boxes and how they wash their bras. And I would love to hear from you. Uh, most people who called in this evening have said two days for guys. Ladies are saying, do it daily. Talk to me, somebody. Hello, good evening. Yeah, what's your name and where you're calling from? All right, George, nice to have you. Let's have your take. When you say many boxes, what's the total figure? How many boxes do you own? Yeah, I have like 12. So I have 12. I think that one is okay now. So in this 12, how do you do it? Do you wash every day or do you wash twice a week or once a week? No, I wash every day. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, George, for stopping by. George is of the opinion that you wash after taking your bath. Uh, so, say in your bathroom, you should have a separate container to put those boxes in when you come back from your busy day. I'm uh, taking another call here on the show this evening. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Name and location. Uh, my name is Kinsley. I'm calling, I'm calling you. All right. K Kinsley, talk to me. What's your experience around this issue? Uh, all right, excuse me, Pongo, Tangigo, Amy. How many boxes should you have? Yeah, three or four boxes, like that. So, is it, is it football club? If you're asking if the last person is the governor, I no, he's probably he's a, he, no. You can't deny the fact it's the one who has that amount of fabric in his wardrobe. You've never visited him. No, no, you can't be so sure. Let's come back to you. How often should you wash your boxes? I wash my boxes every day. Okay. Okay. Uh, but for the ladies, uh, uh, would you say they're guilty of not washing as frequently as guys do when it comes to their bra? Any experience, any personal experience? Well, um, I, don't, I don't think I don't so. Alright, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Okay, someone said someone owning 2,000 pairs of boxer is a bad idea. 23 is what he has in his own wardrobe. But see this thing, eh? it's like a bank account. Some people have moolah in their account. Some other people have peanuts. It depends on, you know, the individual. But the question here is, how do you handle personal hygiene? What's the required amount of time to, you know, wash this stuff? Ladies say, uh, if you come back, you can sun dry it. Allow Breeze to touch it. Some guys also do the same thing. Olami Day here says uh, some of his football mates, where they train, they always, uh, as they dry their football boots, they dry the boxer too. Anything that works for you, share with me. I would want to know. Hello. Good evening. Please turn down the volume on your radio. Okay. Talk to me. Name and location. All right. So tell me, what's the allotted time you use when you have to wash your boxes?
The next day. Okay, so so let's just take a census. How many pairs of boxes do you have? Eleven. All right, thank you for stopping by. Uh, it may seem the ladies are pretty shy to share with us and let us know how these things work. Uh, take another call. Find out from ID Umana. What's the allotted time? Hello, ID. Hello. Yeah. Nice evening, evening to you, ID. Talk to me. Okay, I I did I did. Pongo Pongo, you in question? I did I Tell us how does this, how does this thing work? How often do you change your underwear? And how often do you wash them? <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Okay. All right. Thank you, too. All right, guys. Uh, still the happy hour show right here on Planet 101.1 FM. Football has made a comeback. And right now, some state governors are putting an embargo on viewing centers, trying to curtail the spread of coronavirus and saying, hey, you can't afford to go watch football at the viewing center. Well, the La Liga officially resumed today. There's a match ongoing. It's coming up to 40 minutes in that game. Sevilla are playing host to Real Batiste. And then I can tell you that the game is on. Uh, fans are not in the stadium. But they've done something creative about the empty seats in the stadium. They have placed jerseys and paraphernalia on each of the seats in the stadium right now, as I'm telling you. Uh, so from your TV view, it looks like there are fans in the stadium, but it's just T-shirts on the seats and then they have stewards just you know walking around they have ball boys yes i can spot ball boys uh there but the score line is still nil nil between sevilla and real betis uh, sevilla is uh sitting currently on the table of la liga in third position real betis is uh somewhere down around the 12th position if i'm not mistaken uh -huh. Activity in the Sevilla box. No, referee says play on. All right, so catch another break. Keep your calls coming true. We'll take them. A DJ Equalizer with the music policy tonight. It's a happy hour show. Do all to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter. You know how it is. And you know it's always fun time at this side on the radio. A beat to ride. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm 